In this example, we're going to demonstrate how you can import a CSV file into your spreadsheet. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new spreadsheet. We'll click the button and we're going to call this new spreadsheet. We'll just call this very simply once it loads here. CSV import example. And we're going to retrieve a spreadsheet from the sample CSV data at Spatial Key. Uh, they've got some interesting files here, but we talked about the uh, crime records file, so we can download that. Now I've already downloaded it, so all I have to do is go into File, then Import, and then I can go directly to Upload. And I can select a file from my computer, and we're going to go ahead and just locate that Sacramento file. And we're going to select that file and hit open. Now it's going to upload my file and you can see here it's telling me exactly what I'm importing. I'm going to replace the current sheet. I'm going to detect the separator character automatically. Though it would be the same if I hit comma or if I just typed in a comma here. Uh, we're going to allow it to handle that and we're going to convert our text and numbers to dates uh, or text to two numbers and dates and I hit import. It's going to take a look at all of this data and you can see here it's working and here we go here's our spreadsheet so we have all of our headers and they're coming right across the top which is nice and you can see all of our different values and you can see some of these these are coming in as dates and times uh, these are coming in as numbers these are coming in as numbers as well so we could very easily at this point uh, provide some computation you know we could uh, look up values here we could sum we could find averages we could do any of the things we learned in our previous videos but as you can see it's pretty easy to get a lot of data into your sheet with uh, with the import now if I want to go all the way to the bottom I can just hold command and hit down and that's going to take me to the end in uh, Windows you could also use control down and that would give you it would take you all the way to the end but you can see here it would take me a whole lot of time to enter 7,500 185 uh, rows into my spreadsheet but using this I can very easily get all of those in in a pretty reasonable fashion using that CSV import. Uh, in our next video we're going to look into how you can import from Excel uh, but for now thanks for watching and you know feel free to try some CSV files you might find see how you can import them and see what you can learn from them in Google Sheets.